Hey guys, it's Cole, and I hit rank 12 a few hours ago on Island Sanctuary, and we get access to three new glamour sets that I absolutely need to talk about because with the designs of these, you guys, I don't know how to say it other than people are going to go totally wild for these. These are actually freaking amazing. So the first two sets are going to be variations of the Isle Vacationer sets. And then the third one is going to be a quest reward called the Isle Shepherd set. Because I know whenever I do this kind of vid, people are going to be like, oh my god, how do I get this as fast as possible? So I did a leveling guide with my exact technique for how to level very quickly and with extremely low effort, which I'm literally talking pressing two buttons. I'm not kidding you. Two buttons in my leveling guide video that I uploaded yesterday. The link is going to be in the description and the pinned comment because you guys, I know that you are not going to want to miss out on these glams. So the first and the second sets, the Isle Vacationer sets, can be purchased after rank 12 for calories from the vendor in your cozy cabin. The third set is going to be a crest reward for hitting rank 12. So Island Sanctuary is delivering all three of these glams at rank 12. So all of the items that I'm about to go over are totally diable. Every single piece from all three sets. Also, hats are usable by both Viera and Rothgar, which to say the least, I'm super happy and super thankful for. So let's start with the first variation of the Isle Vacationer's Glamour outfit. So between the two variations of the Isle Vacationer set, there is only going to be one hat, and this hat explicitly, we're looking at only the front hat part of it. This really stands out a lot, even on its own. Amongst all the hats in the game, I think this is the only thing that I have seen in an MMORPG ever that is just the front of a hat. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this. And I need to, again, thank the dev team and Yoshi P for letting Rothgars use this. I see myself using this quite a lot. But what is also on this hat is that they have these glasses that can either be shown or not by adjusting your visor settings. And I think they look really sick. They are, have this nice tint and the hat with them just looks nice. To me, this is a huge, huge win. This is definitely going into my standard rotation of headpieces that I use. Now, the first shirt is gonna be the Vacationer's Tie Front shirt. It is, <laughs> how to say, extremely visually striking design, to say quite honestly, the very least that I could. <laughs> I'm pretty sure everyone else is like, what? It's, it's It got my jaw dropping and my eyes turning more than other glams for sure, like the Southern Seas Talisman. Like, the shirt just opens up and has this, like, shirt tied up above the waist for an extremely open design, and it's just, like, not even, like, fixated to the body. It's, like, loose and baggy which you know what I am 100% confident that I am going to undeniably see this quite a lot and this is going to get people to pump into Island Sanctuary again I got that leveling guide for anyone because I know that this is going to be very very popular but moving on from the whoa <laughs> the cactars on the back of the shirt if you ever somehow look back there are actually super cute with the flowers the cactars with the flowers are awesome and adorable I love them they add a lot to the shirt now we're gonna move on to the pants um well sure I'm gonna try and call them that yeah another absolute clear win from the developers obviously for exceedingly obvious reasons this will be very popular but it's a great addition I, I think that it's just a great addition it doesn't look like anything that we really have people are going to be like it looks like the type 2b leggings no 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 the type 2b leggings look different than this this is a variation of that kind of theme <laughs> i have to stop recording there because i actually just laughed my ass off but you know it's true you know that that's true now in terms of the hand pieces there are multiple different bands around the wrist of different types of leathers i also like the fact that they have different orientation of the bands that they aren't just straight horizontally aligned which is what really separates detail from not as much detail because let's say you have a loose band on your wrist it doesn't magically stay stuck horizontally no that stuff's gonna like dangle down like if i'm going to the zoo and they like put like a band of like paper to like say hey this person's like paid like it's gonna like go down onto my hand now we're going to be talking about dyes in general for the sets later on in this video but specifically talking about dyeing the hands which makes it quite unique with few other examples of it your nail color can be changed with these for me personally i'm going to be sticking to skin tone colors but i can see many enjoying having bracelets as well as nail polish for sure the sandals surprised me they surprised me a lot because you can see the level of detail with the different types of leather straps and the base of the sandal also isn't just flat it has this nice incline and then you have another extremely detailed piece on the left angle you can see the braid worth it braid work and interchanging colors honestly for what some might call just another pair of sandals these are very far from it and these are standard out and excellently designed i'm gonna only say that here because for the other sandals same deal for them i'm not gonna repeat myself they're just 
distinct, fantastic examples of detail and design. Far from, oh, it's just another pair of sounds. These are totally different. Now I'm gonna be changing out the pieces for the second set. Specifically, we have new shirt, shorts, and sandals. For the shirt, <laughs> look at the details of it. And this is something that I am highly sensitive to. Like there's this open dress shirt collar to it. It's not tied around. It isn't just randomly open and like straight down. It also has the creases that are a very obvious look to it, which are genuinely looking like a detailed worn shirt that someone's actually using like the angles of the cuts of the fabric for the shoulders to the back look at how the pattern of those cactar with the flowers changes i'm a huge fan of this now for the shorts same idea we get the details with the waist area with this cut at the front going into the strings and they're cut above the knee which i know many people will also like as well as the fact that they're more open around the bottom of the short which is always a plus these will be very popular now for the second set of sandals they are spectacular the leather bands either are the solid rich leather or these color changing patterns bands going into the ankle to secure the sandal around the ankle elevation isn't flat having that nice curvature to it the details are here now let's talk about dyes for a little bit there are so many different colors that look extremely good like jet black dye looks fantastic on the set did i make a cliche by saying jet black dye probably but it actually looks really good on this blues look awesome heck purples even a red color like the vibrant bright red is visually wow with these sets i find it very hard to find a color that doesn't look good in pops now the third set is going to be from the quest once you hit rank 12 and you at the end of the quest get the isle shepherd set which also i love the mareeps on my island from that quest electric sheep or op that's all i'm going to say it's just i like it a lot so let's start off with the top because it's an extremely large piece and can cover up the pants i should say that you can dye all these pieces personally colors that i'm a big fan of include dark navy or darker brown i think that those are very visually striking the geometric shapes on it are stunning like the details on all of these parts are just so so good so specifically with the top on this is an extremely intricate level of detail and pattern that i'm a huge fan of it genuinely comes across as a giant soft woolen coat even if you look near the arms there are these big soft brown fabrics that would clearly help insulate more warmth inside the giant horn on the side with the long drawstring lets you loop around it the shoulder it's just it's mm, chef's kiss the lines across the chest to this beautiful crest in the middle too it's just such an amazingly detailed piece this is actually like art and it's something that is totally unique for even final fantasy 14 and heck even in general gaming you very much don't often see representation like this one absolutely gorgeous piece now moving on through the rest of the set like the geo geometric shapes on it are stunning and are popping out even as i'm just like trying to go over it the details specifically on the sandals with the different elevation points the different colors of the leather to the base straps even go around the heel and the bends to the ankle definitely not standard sandals that we already have these are surprisingly very unique the shorter crop of the pant with the side opening at the bottom with these golden details in the belt that wraps around has different points of elevation for even the tail heck as simple as even just the wooden bracelet is appearing it's amazing with the wood texture and then the band interchanging in its simplicity and more neutral tone i can actually see this being very very popular to pair with most things also the geometry with the triangles on the headpiece are just gorgeous this headpiece is like nothing we've seen before now let's talk very briefly about mixing and matching the sets obviously the pieces in their sets look really good but combinations like the pants from the isle shepherd set and the bracelets from the isle shepherd sets with like the shirt and hat from the vacation set i'm a huge fan of that like i could see myself after a day of work going to the zoo or, or the beach or something like that and feeling super cozy and comfortable in this i'm such a huge fan of this and if you haven't gone to island sanctuary check out my leveling video i am actually blown away these glamour sets are definitely a step above that's it for this video take care everyone and i hope that you're having a happy patch 6.3